guys this is the bitcoin blog spot your boy jay i just wanted to go over a quick um hack so everybody can understand the quantity system of bitcoin i know uh you know it's taken me a long time to get this and even sometimes now it gets confusing when you have uh the current values changing the vol vol volatility changing over time drastically a lot so it's always hard to find out how much really your Bitcoin is worth but I just want to teach you a hack uh, of things to pay attention to help you understand as long as you know the price of Bitcoin which typically people are always keeping an eye on and then you, you'll always know what your quantity is so I just want to go in and let you guys know for a fact that uh, no matter what the prices of Bitcoin there will always be a Bitcoin eight decimal system there will always be 100 million satoshis will always equal one bitcoin no matter what the price is um, but as of right now the dollar value is approximately worth 5,300 satoshis in november of 2020 so uh, the quick hack that i want you guys to remember is to always look at the number of satoshis and also the decimal point Two decimal points to the right if you pay attention to these two that will always give you a hack into how much you have this I mean of course is if you have less than one Bitcoin I'm pretty much going over the the quantity values for everything less than one Bitcoin so again all you're doing is reversing them just to explain so one Satoshi is always going to be at the end value here of the quantity 100 if you block this all out here 100 1000 satoshis 1000 satoshis 10000 10000 and so on up to 9999999999 which is 9 uh, 99 million sorry 99 million is the last of the Satoshi with the nine at the end here and then one more Satoshi would add you to 100 million Satoshis which will always equal one Bitcoin so again like I'll just I guess I'll just show you right here real quick so when you go into here now obviously you're just looking at everything under one Bitcoin so you can tell instantly by looking at these two how much these guys are trading in dollar values when you want to go here so if you just take a number real quick over here um, 0 0.02 so 0 0.02 is 2 million satoshis uh, that means he's not really trading that much money but when you get into uh, getting into this system here the decimal right before that's when you know you're in the thousands and that's some pretty pretty good money for the average person I can't wait to the day that um, one Satoshi will actually be equal to one penny or even one dollar, depending on how high the, high the value goes. I mean, it is said that um, so one Satoshi has to equal one penny in the U.S. dollar, and that would equal uh, Bitcoin to be one million dollars. At that market capitalization, that would be in the upper trillions. That would be a stable coin for people to trust. And that is the day that Bitcoin will take us to the moon and to give us freedom to transact our money. So again, we going to, this is not taught in schools yet. It's going to be taught in schools. So everybody, please try to understand this thing of understanding your quantity of Satoshis. Remember your values of Satoshis here from the right to the left. That gives you the how many you have. Always go for the goal of collecting one BTC or more because we know that it's going to the moon and eventually one Bitcoin will probably equal one million. I think that's the goal. Uh, with that being said, like, share, and comment. Um, share this with your friends. A lot. I know a lot of people get confused with the decimal system. But this is Jeremy and I am out. Bitcoinblogspot.com. Get all the resources and news and updates. We appreciate it. We're out of here.